and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this in the future for a donation deck for us to play today, which is going to be Mardu Glass. Um, so people in chat were saying that this deck is on uh, etherhub.com. Uh, so I think that's maybe, I don't know, maybe they have like an article about it, maybe. Um, I'm not sure, but but uh, we had a viewer that donated to, that wanted to see this uh, deck played. Um, so let's try it out. So what we have here is we have a Mardu aggro deck where we're um, playing a whole lot of multicolor creatures because we uh, have Glass of the Guild Pack that can make them even bigger. And so we're just, you know, trying to, you know, uh, be the aggressive deck. We're not playing any removal, looks like, in the main deck. We just have all, <laughs> all aggro all the time, basically. That's what we have going on here. Um, a card I'm excited to play is Swift Blade Vindicator. This card uh, doesn't get to see a ton of play, but it is incredibly powerful if you get to, especially if you get to pump its power. So with Glass... Uh, Unbreakable Formation, Judith, or even uh, Tajik that can mentor onto it, and also even Heroic Reinforcements. Lots of ways to increase the power of Swift Blade Vindicator. So pretty excited about that. Um, as far as sideboard goes, um, I uh, I was just donated the 60, and so we'll put this sideboard together. So we'll see kind of how it works. You know, we have uh, regular old duress. Ooh, we got new duresses, though. Let's add in our new dresses. Um, yeah, that's like one of the most common sideboard cards. Coffee Black with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Coffee Black. Thank you so much. Um, and then I could see like Wild Growth Walker in particular and the Explore stuff, especially, like I said, Wild Growth Walker being a big problem for our deck with us not having removal. And so I thought Takali Honor Guard could be uh, a good sideboard card to go as well. Angrath and, and Ajani, it's a couple Planeswalkers at the top end, and a little bit of removal with Lava Coil and Mortify. So let's try out some Mardu Glass. Or Glass the Guild Pack. Yeah, I definitely like the new Duress. That's really good. Ah, oh, very kind. Alright, so that is sub number eight on the day. Screen telling me we're still 89 till the next 12 hour stream there. We'll also be doing a 12-hour stream whenever we do get to uh, 1,500 YouTube subscribers. So if you haven't seen the YouTube channel, check that out. Uh, YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. And uh, you can see any of the replays of any of the decks you've missed before. Um, I've gotten one. I've gotten one Galta so far. All right, Hero of Precinct 1. Now, what do we want to follow that up with? I guess Tajik. Now, maybe Judith. Tajik, like, protects all of our other creatures. Um, but I like playing Judith here because if Judith dies... Then we get to ping the Pyromancer and kill the Pyromancer. Alright, I'll just trade here. Yeah, uh... I just go with no music in the in the uh, background of the YouTube videos. Um, so if yeah, so it, it allows people to be able to watch it and be able to play their own music if they want music or anything. You know, here on stream we have the music on stream because a lot of people like the music on stream, um, and I do as well. But I don't want to necessarily. You know, force people to listen to music. So if they if they don't like the music, they can just you know uh, watch the YouTube video without it. Ugh, chain whirler.
All right, Pharaoh man, have a good night. Getting through Chain Whirler is not super easy. I hope our opponent doesn't kill the Tajik this turn. Well, of course they're going to. I'm expecting our opponents attacking there uh, because of skewer the critics or yeah light up the stage also. So we can pump up the Boros Challenger to make it a 3-4 and we can mentor onto the the Fireblade artist to make it a 3-3 but the Chain Whirler is having first strike. Um, doesn't really make that plan too good. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that they just don't have another burn spell here. Oh, man. All right, looks like we're going to game two. All right, good. We got to eat a Chain Whirler. I was hoping they didn't know, or didn't remember what Boros Challenger did. I think I should have shocked there. Shock, attack in, get five damage in. We're just not going to beat this Frenzy, most likely. Being this, being this frenzy is gonna be tough. I mean, it's really just chain whirler. Um. All right, what do we got sideboard wise? I guess, I guess we're bringing in all these honor guards. Stop the chain whirler trigger. Lava coil also. Uh, mortify. Sounds good as well. Maybe Angrath. Hey, track team. Um. All right. What are we cutting? Fireblade Artist. Get that thing out of here. That card looked really bad. This thing has to attack. This thing just has to attack in a Chain Whirler. No, you can't move this, which doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, like, why the deck is so small. It's, I hate it. You can make these things bigger. Um... Yeah, I don't love formation, but we need to have it. Probably need to cut a couple threes, though. Let's 
Got one formation. Yeah, I'm thinking it kind of may have to be Swift Blade Vindicator also. I'll cut both of those. Actually, I'm just taking I'm taking out the Raptor. I hate how the Raptor has to attack or block into Chain Whirler. No, I like Angrath quite a bit uh, in this matchup. I like uh, either stealing, um, stealing Chain Whirler from them and, and killing it, or uh, making them discard some of their last cards, especially on the play here. On the draw, maybe take it out, but I, I really like it on the play. Good, no shock. That's certainly good. So Mortify is an option, um, but I think our, our best way to win is being aggressive here. So let's just go ahead and throw the Stajik out there. Yeah, I forgot we have Glass of the Guild Pact. Forgot about that. That'd be a good card to draw. a pretty important card to have on the battlefield um like hero plus boros challenger may have been like a better turn of like being able to go like really wide with hero plus boros challenger but tajik's pretty important to have on the battlefield because of chain whirler if i go hero boros challenger then chain whirler would really wreck me of course just burn spell chain whirler uh it's still okay but we only have one extra one one now because we get to put the counter you know by playing tajik also that's the other thing is we got to grow one of these tokens as well. Yeah, Shalai could certainly be a, a good sideboard card here. Shalai, Lyra, stuff like that. Likely could have made a better sideboard against um, the red decks. Hmm. One card in hand. So I can cast Mortify, kill the Chain Whirler, and hit him for two. Mm -hmm. It was using that 5-0 list, uh, Lord. So we use from our two angels this time. I think we're going to mortify the chain whirler and then untap and play Judith. So that gets us by doing by doing that, you know, we get one blocker out of the way, and we get an extra creature because of the mortify. What if I just play duress? Hmm. Yeah. So Angrath on the draw, maybe back out. 
I don't know. Unbreakable formation seems like it can do some good work. I think I kind of like it. Are duresses better than footlight fiends? Because honestly, like, what is this card really doing? Is it really doing that much? Yeah, reinforcements is just is just really good. I, I like that card. I mean, I like Duress just taking a burn spell or a light up the stage. But I guess it's just one mana trade with like a burn spell, so like your Judith and Tajik don't kind of thing. But like, I don't think they're using that burn spell on Footlight Fiend, for example. Yeah, I, well, I took Fireblade Artist out, so it's like Judith is kind of like the one thing that pumps this. I'm going to take these out. I think our opponent can get around Footlight Fiend pretty well. I mean, it... Yeah. I just go with Glass of the Guild Pact. Forgot about that card. So I'm going to turn to Honor Guard, or turn to Glass. If I go turn to Glass, I can play turn to three Boros Challenger, and make it pretty difficult for them to kill the Boros Challenger. Uh, just going Honor Guard. Because it's probably a burn spell here. They'll just kill it. Like that. We got two Tajiks. We'll go ahead and play one here. And then next turn I can go Glass plus Challenger. Good hand for the opponent, though. You know, Lava Runner, Pyromancer, a bunch of burn spells. Pretty good. Oh my gosh! Uh, Deck, why do you do this? That was not what I wanted to do. Not quite what I wanted to do at all. I like this hand. So we get to have turn one Foot Light Fiend. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. Uh, internet connection was pretty bad earlier, and it was really frustrating, but over the last like hour and a half, two hours, haven't had any issues, so it's, it's feeling better. Um, so, just gotta hope it it stays good. Um, yeah, Grixis discard actually performed really well yesterday. And um, yeah, it, it did perform really well. It felt really good. Um, it felt as good as seems like it. It has as good a potential as like any of the decks that I usually play. So, yeah, I like it quite a bit. Um, 
If you want to see the videos, of course, you can find the video on my YouTube channel. If you want to, if you want to be able to see it, it's up there, ready to go. This was about a, as good as our deck can do with our one drop, two drop, three drop, and then double two drop. All right, I'm going to play this first so we don't have to worry about auto tap this time. Last time, though, I couldn't really play the other, you know, I needed glass first, but I should have just played my land. Yeah, even though you don't have... Decline. Well then. Even though you don't have enchantment removal with... Um, Grixis, I don't think that, that that's that big a deal, honestly. I think it was a lot bigger deal a few weeks ago. Um... But there's not very many enchantment decks uh, these days. The biggest thing about enchantment decks are like the Wilderness Reclamation, Nexus of Fate decks. And so to combat that, I have have two Unmoored Egos in my sideboard for those matchups. Um, there is still like Dispersal. So like you have something that kind of deals with enchantments with Dispersal. But... That's what I got going on. So they are Esper deck with a lot of ETB effects, you know, Deputy, Bell Hunt, all, all that kind of stuff. Let's get the Honor Guards in. Angrath should be pretty good here. They're a little slower. Definitely need Mortify too because of Lyra Dawnbringer. This is 67, huh? Johnny's probably actually just pretty great here. We'll just kind of go bigger. All right, yeah, let's try going bigger. Get some removal and Planeswalkers in. Yeah, this one is Little Tox. Ugh. Yeah, we got a five. We, our first run, first run was five one. And then we went uh, one, 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 one. And just picked up picked up our wins for the du extra duresses for Singleton. Yeah, and good call there of uh, Lava Coil for Seraph. I forgot about Seraph, but yeah, that's a, certainly a good card for us to Lava Coil. My plan next turn is to play another hero of Precinct 1. Okay, so that's the card they're taking, though.
So even though this was the one that had the eyeball on it, that they like that shows they seen, even though as you could tell, we played the other glass of the guild pack, um, and then the eyeball went away from this one that shows that it was revealed. So uh, it doesn't, so, you know, like it just kind of tracks like the card like that, like the the same set and same card and everything. Yeah, he missed Golgari Graveyard. Uh, I liked Golgari Graveyard, but we we lost to the aggro decks, but I think that that's something that can be um, fixed in the future. I wish I had Takali out in our garden. They wouldn't take my hero and my Boros Challenger. Um, yeah, I was a little surprised they didn't take glass, the guild pact, honestly. Yeah, I was pretty surprised about that, too. We gotta just keep attacking. That's kind of about all we can do right about now. Our opponent has the double hero, so they have the they have the upper hand. Paramore doesn't play the song live anymore. Misery business did. Maybe they just got, they get like too tired of singing it, I guess. We get Angrath, we can steal their thief. Or I guess we could steal the deputy and make them sack it. Or not. We're not winning this. We're so not winning this. Yeah, that's their biggest sign uh, single. Hmm. Okay, she hasn't related to the lyrics for a really long time. Gotcha. Oh, number said that I just saw Paramore on this tour. They're still performing it for sure. It's their finale. Oh, okay. 
Uh, no white mana is a problem. Let's mulligan. All right, let's try this. Where's our land? All right, that's a land. Got to keep it. It's not a red source, but got to keep it. Takali Honor Guard's probably really good here, so I'm I'm really glad to have Takali Honor Guard. That's all they are like a deck filled with ETB effects. Nice, you're eight one with the singleton deck. Awesome. Red mana, not red mana. Oh, in September, they said Misery Business for the last time. Gotcha. There we go. Hmm. That's too bad. Uh, about that, but then also too bad about us not drawing any red mana. Kind of the trouble with three color aggro decks. So yeah, we are, we have fourteen red sources. Can certainly happen whenever you mulligan. We have seventeen white, only twelve black. Does make that kind of difficult with uh, three color aggro decks. Hey, DJ Polly B. Yeah, we didn't do too well today. Um, but we have time for more. We can just, you know, we could play another deck. Um, overall, I'm not not sure I liked this deck very much. There's some kind of not so good cards. Like, like I think there just needs to be more interact. Like, I think that playing a deck with no removal. Um, this is not not a good place to be. I think this deck could just use burn spells and everything. Um, maybe just like lightning strikes and things like that. Like R Relentless Raptor is not. That's just not a, a card that you want to put in a in your standard deck. Um, yeah, that doesn't need to be a thing. When you're curving out, it's it's certainly good. Um, but if you if you don't curve out. Your deck's kind of horrible, and that's that's a problem. I guess you're you're just like really relying on curving out, and I guess this this deck was you know from the person that donated. I think this was more of a best of one deck, and I think that this, that best of one would would help this deck because I think it's it's easier. It's a lot easier to curve out in best of one. Best of one is all about curving out. Um, how they give you the two hands uh, and give you the better of the two hands. Uh, you you have a lot higher percentage of curving out all the time. And so I think this this deck is probably a lot better in best of one than in uh, best of three. Um, so yeah, I think if you want to play this best of three, I think just not being so aggressive is the thing to do. I guess, but that, the problem is, is just that's not playing glass though. Because I feel like if you just don't have a glass and don't have like relentless raptor, like maybe you can just kind of have like maybe some more heroic reinforcements and lightning strikes or lava coil stuff like that in the main deck and even like Angrath in the top end um, and make it a, a little bit bigger like that. But yeah. So there we go. So Mardu Glass wasn't wasn't super impressive, but we did have like some uh, some pretty aggressive starts there. Um, another card that I really like in this in this deck, honestly, um, is Integrity. Uh, there's Integrity. That's I. I love Integrity. 
uh, in this deck. Like basically, I love it with Swift Play Vindicator, um, getting the the pump spell on that. Or we saw like even like against Mono Red how they're like shocking our Tajik. If we'd have like four, like you know, if we just have like our four and we could protect our Tajik from like a shock, it would be a pretty big game. Uh, or then just having the intervention that you can deal damage. Like this kind of card, I really like this kind of card um, in this deck. Uh, in like this kind of aggro deck um, where it's like a, a removal spell with the intervention part, but it's not always um, an integrity just lets you attack over other things. Yeah. Tajik's armor is amazing. Yeah. Fireblade artist is not a card I've been very impressed with in general. Uh, it seems pretty weak. Um, you know, kind of two man, two two haste. You know, standard is is a format filled with really good cards, and so cards like Fireblade Artist and Relentless Raptor are not really cards that I necessarily want to put in decks. So, those are my thoughts on the deck there. So, if you're watching this later on YouTube, like always, I uh, hope you hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, Afterlife Orzov card I think would be better. Honestly, I think that the two mana uh, Orzov creature with Vigilance and Afterlife. I'd rather be playing that thing. And like Ser Seraph, absolutely. It's just kind of going bigger because Afterlife tokens work better with Glass also because they're multicolored. Yeah. So there we go. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.